Sony, Facebook and Apple are all working on next generation VR headsets. This video is unapologetically going to speculate on what these headsets are going to look like, the features they have, as well as some genuine hard facts. Let's get into it. So we're going to kick this video off with the upcoming PlayStation VR 2. Now there are some real images of the new controllers that have been released by Sony. They feature a wraparound design that's similar to the Valve Index but much more stylized. Uh, we know that these controllers are going to include uh, haptic feedback, that there are adaptive triggers that increase in resistance, exactly the same as you find on the PlayStation 5 controllers. Um, what's really exciting is that Sony released a video of a capacitive based finger tracking technology that they've been researching and they've been using machine learning to correlate sensor data with the actual movements of fingers and you can see from this video actually they've got it working uh, pretty well so it's reasonable to assume that the controllers are going to include this technology. Sony haven't released any specific details about what the headset's actually going to look like, but that hasn't stopped people speculating and creating digital mock-ups. There are some patent documents that appear to show what the headset may look like. It appears to have inside-out tracking, two cameras on the front, and an array of cameras at the back of the headband. But if the patent information about the controller is anything to go by, the final product that Sony have teased to us looks very, very different. So it's reasonable to assume that the headset will look different as well. We've speculated previously on patent documents, particularly about Valve using foveated rendering, and that never came to be in the index. So... Uh, it still remains to be seen specifically the features, details, and the style of the VR headset from Sony. Facebook is confirmed to be working on a Quest Pro in a CNET interview. Mark Zuckerberg confirmed that the new headset was focused on face tracking, eye tracking, and that they really wanted to create a, a greater sense of in-game presence within the game. No doubt to fit in around the timeline for the release of the upcoming Facebook Horizons platform, which is their VR-based social media platform. It's also been reported that Facebook and Sony have been buying very significant volumes of VR lenses from a Taiwanese manufacturer that are in principle designed to improve clarity and field of view. And Apple is very widely rumored to be working on VR and AR headsets. They've even rearranged their executive team, moving Dan Rico, the former vice president of hardware manufacturing, is rumored now to be heading up their AR and VR efforts. Lots and lots of patents also confirm Apple's work in this area including a real-time obstacle detection system for VR headsets, individual finger tracking, and a gesture control system that sees you press your index finger, your pointy finger, against your thumb in a kind of makeshift joystick that, in principle, doesn't require the need for any controllers. As is typical with Apple, there's been very little by way of leaks, but that hasn't again stopped the enthusiastic VR community from creating lots and lots and lots uh, of digital mock-ups of what the headset could look like. But this headset is rumored to cost several thousand dollars and is going to be both manufactured and sold in very limited quantities. Indeed, one website reporting that they're only anticipating these to be sold uh, one headset per store per day. So there we go, guys. Lots of speculation, albeit with some hard facts. It looks like that Generation 2.0 VR headsets could be arriving in 2022, with all of these headsets rumored to be releasing in the first half of that year. So there we go, guys. A bit of speculation, as always. I hope you're really well wherever in the world you are. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.